everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome back to my kitchen. Today for our installment of Kid Friendly Summer Snacks, I've got a little bit of a story time for you. And I'm gonna show you how I do a flavored yogurt hack that is gonna make your life a little bit easier and I think save you a little bit of money in the long run. And you're gonna be able to make all your kids happy and who doesn't like that? So let's go see how this all comes together. Today, I'm gonna to share with you a super easy way to make all your kids happy by flavoring plain or vanilla flavored yogurt. And that's what I have here is some vanilla yogurt with jam or in this case, an all natural fruit spread that is only sweetened with fruit juice. So this isn't about refined sugar. This is about natural fruit sugar. So this is a super healthy snack. It's a great breakfast. You can add granola to it. You're just gonna take about a tablespoon of the fruit spread and you can use listen you can use whatever jam that you have I've done this with my homemade jam but today because we're doing kid friendly summer snacks I kind of thought let's go ahead and use that natural fruit spread because that way it's not got a lot of extra sugar in it and you can just go from there so this is as easy as it gets I've got these little jars are four ounces so they're a half a cup I fill them up to the bottom line um, with the, the yogurt and then a little tablespoon which is the serving size of this fruit spread right on in there and boom strawberry yogurt and the best part about this is you get to control the type of yogurt you use if you like organic yogurt which this happens to be organic whole milk yogurt maybe you prefer a greek style yogurt you can use that too but yogurt is cheaper if you buy it in a big container than it is if you buy it in the individual flavored packets um, or even those squeezable yogurts if you break those down ounce for ounce they're expensive so this is a really nice way that you can control what goes into your kids or into you for that matter and you'll know exactly what's in there and you can do this so simply and again pop some lids on these super easy pop them in your fridge mark them on the top what flavor they are so today i've done strawberry peach cherry and raspberry and I might, even like these. Hmm? I might even like these i know you will here here's the raspberry give it a taste now this is I used vanilla yogurt so there is a little bit of sugar in that but I used one that had a lower sugar and it was the Stonyfield organic French vanilla yogurt it is not vegan but it is delicious and this is just another way for you to kind of stretch your food dollar and make your kids happy um, like I said you don't have to use this particular fruit spread you can use whatever kind of jam you have on hand and you know maybe your kids like grape jelly yogurt, who knows? Because that's what they like. Um, and you're not gonna be able to buy that in the store. Like plum, you can buy plum yogurt, you can't buy that. Pineapple yogurt, you can get pineapple jam or you can use uh, crushed pineapple. Really, the possibilities are endless. But I... Something else you could have done? Put the fruit in first. And bake fruit and on the bottom yogurt. The bottom. That's right, that's a great idea, honey. I didn't think about that. You make your own fruit on the bottom yogurt and then your kids can stir it up when you give it to them. So it's kind of like a little extra prize. Um, I like fruit on the yo bottom yogurt. I always did. Um, I know some people really don't like anything but the pre-stirred stuff, but that's fine. Whatever floats your boat. But here's the story time. I've been doing this since I was 13 years old because when I was 13, uh, we had some very dear family friends, what we still do, um, who live in British Columbia. And the reason that we met them was because I grew up in Tucson, Arizona, and that was the home of, a, of an organization called Up With People. And Up With People was a youth organization that was dedicating, dedicated to spreading peace and uh, friendship throughout the world through music and dance. And every year, they would convene at the University of Arizona and they would come from all over the world and the people of Tucson were asked to act as host families 
for the kids that were there um, for rehearsal and all of that getting organized before their four troops went out across the globe to perform their wonderful music. So I grew up with Up With People and I still to this day sing many of their songs and I love them. They are no longer a thing anymore. One of the girls that came and stayed with us the very first year that we did it, her name was Christine. We, we just really became close with Christine. When she had her dress rehearsal, her parents flew to Tucson from British Columbia where they have a farm. They stayed with us and their names are Dick and Vera and I love them to death. They're special, special people. I haven't seen them in many, many years. But Chris is now obviously all grown up, has a family. I believe her children are actually grown up now too. They, Dick and Vera took us on a week long camping trip, like camper style camping trip across Canada. And we went from, um, we went from British Columbia into Alberta and we saw Lake Louise and Banff. And yes, those elk really do, and moose, they roam the streets of Banff and it's super cool but a little dangerous. Lake Louise, probably the most beautiful place I've ever seen on earth in my entire life. And we went to the Columbia ice fields and it was just really a once in a lifetime opportunity to see parts of Canada that I probably otherwise would not have seen. But in any case, in that camper, on that camping trip, Vera only bought plain yogurt and that's what we would enjoy for breakfast. And never in my life had I put plain yogurt in my mouth and it was horrible and revolting because it had no flavor but it was super sour and Vera said oh here honey and she brought a bunch of homemade jam from her you know farm she grew all of her own fruit and she had strawberry jam and raspberry jam and she's like what flavor do you want and let's put some of that jam in your yogurt and then you can have your own fruit flavored yogurt so I know that that's kind of a long roundabout story to get where I was going, but but that's my story time about that, and it never left me. I've been doing it ever since. So thank you, Vera, wherever you are, for sharing that idea with me, because it really is kind of brilliant. And I think that it's an appropriate thing to share with you, um, all you moms and grandmoms out there. Yogurt is not cheap. Um, and sometimes it can be difficult to, you know, it's, you stack those little containers in your fridge, they fall over if you don't have a basket to put them in. Um, this is a great way. These little uh, four ounce jars, you can get a dozen of them for about five or six dollars. They're washable, reusable, you're not throwing anything away. Just pop the lid on it, mark it with what flavor, or just fill it with plain yogurt, or don't do that at all. Just keep the yogurt in the fridge and the jam in the fridge. and when they want something, ask them what flavor they want and pull it out and it's all good. So that is my flavored yogurt hack and my story time about how you can flavor your yogurt any old way you want with things you probably already have in your fridge. So I hope that's helpful and I hope it's a new idea for you. And if you've been doing it for a long time like I have, leave a comment down below and let me know how much you love this idea. So I want to thank you for joining me today. Um, if you like the video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. If you are new here, I want to say welcome. It's always great to have someone else join me at my kitchen table and at my kitchen counter. And I hope that you will consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you are already a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, I hope you will always know that you need to hit that bell button so that you get the notifications because we don't want any of you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right from our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope that you will give this flavored yogurt hat a try for your kids or yourself or whatever. And I hope that you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.